Having the Oklahoma State Fair back in full swing has fairgoers excited, but the vendors are relieved as well. News 9's Angelicia Bruton spoke to vendors about how the pandemic has impacted business. Vendors here at the Oklahoma State Fair say there's been a great turnout the past couple of days and it's extremely appreciated after a difficult year. Fairgoers packed the State Fair for the first time in over a year. I think everyone was excited to get out and about. So we've been very, very busy. Winner, winner, winner. There you go, sir. Good job, good job. Vendors say they're definitely not complaining about the traffic. It's something many like Gary Zycheck with Wade Shows Incorporated haven't been able to say since the start of the pandemic. From that time when the pandemic started, we were shut down all the way through 2020 till the end of the year. And then 21, we were able to open back up again. So we weathered that storm, but it was very challenging, very, very difficult. Rhonda Talon with the Guilty Pleasure Food Truck says this is their fourth time attending the fair. During the pandemic, they were able to attend smaller events, but nothing compares to the business she gets from setting up shop at the fair. Yesterday, we were asked to cater a wedding, and we were also asked to come to their, they have a um, event in which they have a food truck come once a year or once a month, I think. We were asked to go to that, so I'm hoping our name gets around. Now that the fair is back, things are not completely back to normal. Some vendors are now having to deal with the side effects of the pandemic. We are struggling with the help situation. I feel like the whole world is short on, on, on help. And we hire a lot of people locally to take care of the things we need to do to get the job done. Zycheck says when his team sets up at the fair, they look to hire 40 to 60 people from that area. They say they were able to hire enough people for the state fair, but more help is still needed. The fair will run until September 26th. In Oklahoma City, Angelicia Bruton, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.